Let's first make more space, close some tabs, switch here to CSS panel. OK, now we will create CSS grid. And the nice thing with CSS grid is that we don't need any extra HTML elements to implement it. So we simply take the container element and it can be, as in our case, this can be body element. And then we define grid on this element. So in PineGrow we do that by using the edit grid tool or command G and then create CSS grid. And now this is a simple starting grid. Um, we can see that the body element now became and if it inspect what is happening in the CSS. It got display grid property and these are the columns and rows. And uh, at first glance it appears that CSS grid revolves around like columns and rows, but actually what defines it are the lines, are the tracks between those columns and rows. So for example here we have vertical tracks numbered from 1 up to 3, 4 and we have horizontal 1, 2 and uh, by default browsers will automatically place elements into the grid so here we, we see the first cell is taken up by our image then we have the title then we have the author and then we have three paragraphs of content. The first thing we do is uh, we'll group the content into uh, an element. So let's call it main or maybe just deal, doesn't matter. And we select uh, not the author, let's put the author here. We select the actual textual content and move it into the div. So now our grid has four main elements that are automatically placed into the grid. And uh, the beginning, like grid is very playful uh, concept. So it's hard to know in advance what exactly we need. And it's really easy to play around with it, as you will see. So, like my approach is, I, I just go ahead at the beginning and create a couple of um, columns and rows, and then start playing with the content, placing elements into like different spaces. And if we take a look at the sizing. Uh, columns are at the moment defined by fractions. That's a special grid unit. So the browser engine divides all available space into fractions. And then if we just use one, 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 like e equal amounts, all these columns will be will have same size. But if we increase the size, then Altogether, there will be four, five, six, seven, eight fractions. And of course, since this one is using four of them, it means that the half of the available space will be used by this column. And again, it's not really needed to do a lot of mathematics when we use the grid. We can just play around and see what happens and what works. Um, and usually, like automatic placement is not what we want. So in the next step, we will place our elements where they need to be.